fastball on the outside corner. Strike three called, and the ball game is over. Ahmad Stevens dominating in the top of the seventh as he helps the Wingnuts lock down their first win of the season. He's the left side, one on pitch, and he hits it in the air to deep left field. Back goes Burns to the track, looking up, and it's out of here! Dustin Moore hits the first walk-off home run in the history of the Wichita Wingnuts. Another 2 2 pitch slider hit in the air to left field. This is deep. Back goes Harris to the track. He's looking up, and it's gone! Joe Mewich wins the game for the Wichita Wingnuts and ends the longest game in Wingnuts history with the second walk-off home run of 2009. The Wingnuts win it four to You see other guys doing well and you want to do well too and you know you get the ball rolling and you want to get that merry-go-round going like we had. It. Hitting is contagious and it's fun when everyone gets to it. The two-game lead, the next pitch loops in the air, short center coming up. Lazy reaches down, he slides and he makes the catch. One man down here in the top half of the first inning. Play. The one-two pitch, fastball swing and a miss. He struck him out. Derek Blacker strikes out the side in the top of the fourth, and he struck out six. In tonight's game, nothing across for the season. From the stretch, first base side of the rubber. First pitch, the hunt swings. It's a high fly ball in the right field. Back goes Burns, back towards the track. He's looking up with a fence, and it's out of here! Kelly Hunt with an opposite field grand slam home run to right center field and the Wingnuts have taken an 8 to 1 lead. 1 through 9 in our lineup. I mean there is it's one of the better lineups I've been in, you know, and one of the better teams I've played on and you know there's for the opposing team, you know, the opposing pitcher, it's it's tough when you know you can be hurt 1 through 9 and that's what we did. Oh, it's a high fly ball to left field. Back goes to the left towards the well. He's looking up at the fence, and this ball is gone. Josh Ford homers over the left field fence, and the Wingnuts now have a 16 3 lead. The fourth base hit of the night for Josh Ford. Oh, I'm telling you, it's not, and the thing about it is, it's always somebody different on our team. It's not, it's not always that one guy. It's not, if you look at all of our games, you can look back. It's always a different guy every night that's stepping up to the plate, and that, I think that's what makes a good team. That's why we're playing so well right now. A 1-0 from Bill. Line drive to left field, that'll fall in for a base hit. Cooper's going to wave forward to the plate. It gets by Butler in left field, and Porter will score standing up. On his way to second base goes Thompson. The Wingnuts lead for the first time tonight at 5-4. to four. One ball in the nose. Rexbrook swings, hits it in the air, deep to left field. Back goes Butler onto the track. He's looking up, and it's out of here. Patrick Brooks with his first home run of the season, and the Wingnuts have taken a 6-2 lead. The first home run of the career of Patrick Brooks, and he's for their third game ending victory this year. Porter swings, slides it towards the gap in left center field. That's going to get down and roll towards the fence. Works on his way to third base. He's going to be waiting for the plate by Kevin Hooper. Reidinger just getting the ball. Brooks cut him the plate. The relay by Anderson, not in time. And the Wingnuts win it 2-1. to one. Greg Porter on the first pitch from Ben Moore doubles to left center field. He drives in both Wingnuts runs tonight. One on the first the 2-2 swing and a miss he struck him out will savage has thrown a no hitter and the wingnuts have won it one to nothing the wingnuts hustle out of the dugout joe Mewich leaps into the arms of savage on the mound the guys come in from the bullpen as well a no hit game for will savage as the wingnuts win it one to nothing definitely about after the six i realized there's a possibility after you know being two-thirds way through the game i figured it might it might happen Oh, it was incredible. What an experience it was. Just, you know, just to have my teammates just as excited as I was was just made it that much more special. You know, something like that doesn't happen very often in baseball, so it was awesome to be a part of it. Everybody cool. Here's the one two pitch, breaking ball, swing, and a miss. He struck him out, and the inning is over. Game and a strike down. And then it's nice to know that those guys are going to put up some runs and they're going to have your back. The 0 1 pitch. Slider ripped in the air towards the gap in left center field. Long run for Norman back towards the fence. He's looking up, and this ball is gone. 
A line drive home run over the left field fence for Brennan Herrera, and the Wingnuts get the run right back. It's now 5-2, to two, Wichita in the bottom half of the sixth. Steve Pearson, four for six tonight. The runner goes, Pearson swings, hits it in the air to center field. Back goes Kubo, going back, it's over his head, and the Wingnuts win it. Dustin Moore scores from third base, and the Wingnuts pull it out 8-7 to seven in the bottom half of the 13th inning. Steve Pier Here's the 1-0 pitch, self swings, the high fly ball to left field, down the line, out goes Brooks, in comes Greg Porter and foul ground, Porter makes the catch and the ball game is over. A three hit shutout for Adam Coward and the Wingnuts have won their seventh game in a row. A Here we go, it's getting close, now it's just who wants it most, it's just life that's how it is. You know, that, that kind of shows what we're all about, I think, that, you know, we know we're never not out of anything. The first guy I go to for any tips, obviously, and um, he knows the game and knows how to play shortstop. One of the main reasons I came back here this year was, you know, the, the chance to play for him. He's a player's guy, you know what I mean? So he's, he's a player's coach. He's he, he played last year, and he's played for a, yeah, a long, successful career. So it's fun being with guys that have been there and done it because then they understand, hey, these sometimes it's awkward, sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's frustrating. He understands that. And so um, I think he's going to be a great coach in, in the years to come if this is what he decides he wants to do. It is going to be a lot of fun. You know, anytime you put your in position to, to win a berth to the playoffs, especially this early in the season, is exciting for all of us. Very exciting for me, you know, my first year doing it. And uh, very rewarding, you know, for me. And, and just to see my guys go out there, our guys, and compete the, the day in and day out that they give me in the effort. It's very enjoyable for me. And, uh, you know, like I said, I have a blast out there every night. I get to go watch out there, watch them play and take the field. Champions for the champions stand.